So let's talk about how to combine multiple or copy and paste the same photogram over and over and reflect it to create this really intricate kind of radial design photogram. Um, so this is one, actually we pressed control I and inverted it. So it made it a negative, but yours might look something like this. I'm just going to step backwards because this is already edited and show you how I got to this point. So, um, we're going to go here. <laughs> so this is how yours might start out. And so this design, if you made a radial design, you might need to clean it up a little and then you can copy and paste it and flip it around to make it a, a nice like repeat it four times and make it a cool radial pattern so first things first i'm going to go to the crop tool and you just want to make sure this is all cleared out at the top i usually like to put it on width times height um, so it doesn't restrict or constrain my crops but mine had like a little bit of a white edge so i'm just going to bring it in just a little and hit enter or hit the check mark. You know, when you crop two, you can rotate it a little from the corner if you go off the corner to straighten it if you need to. So that looks good there. So now basically I need to make a bigger page so I can copy and paste this because you can't go on to the background here. So I'm gonna go to the crop tool again. I'm just gonna zoom out. And I essentially am gonna need to hit repeat this picture four times. So I'm just gonna make sure I drag this out so I have enough space to repeat it and then I'll crop it again when I'm done. So you can crop by dragging off the page and make your canvas bigger. So I'm gonna hit enter or just the check mark. And now I have this on its own page in the corner. So from here, I'm going to essentially copy and paste this, but in order to do that, I need to select it first. So I'm just gonna go up, I'm gonna zoom in again. And I'm gonna select this with this marquee selection tool. So you want to do it so you're not getting the white background. So mine's a little short here, but that's okay. You can do it so it's perfect. Just select it. Control C. Whoops. I have to reselect. I accidentally unselect it. So I can control C and control V to paste it. See, it's right here. <laughs> it's over top of it, but I can see in my layers that it's pasted it. And I can actually just do this four times. Actually, let's do it one at a time so you can see how it works without getting confused. So I have the first one pasted. There it is. I can use my arrow tool to bring it over. Um, and what I'm going to do is control T. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip it horizontally. So you're going to control T. You're not going to change the size. You're just going to right click on it and flip horizontally, hit enter. Now you can see the bottom of mine doesn't quite line up. My selection was a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna use my arrow tool. Like you can use the arrow tools on your keyboard and just kind of move this around and align it as best you can. So I'm just aligning the bottom of that. And then don't worry about this. We're gonna crop it off later. So then I'm gonna control V again. It's gonna give me another layer. And then same thing, control T, right click that way. And then vertically as well. And then that should line up here. So I'm on the arrow tool. I just hit enter when you're done control T. And now that lines up there. And I'm going to control V again to paste it again. I don't even have to select it each time. It's already in my clipboard copied there. So now I can right click vertically up. Oh. Horizontally, I did it once more. So just keep going if you do it wrong the first time. Hit enter to get rid of that little bounding box and then just use your arrow tool to align it or your tool, or your actual arrows on your keyboard. That looks really good. So now I'm just going to go back to my crop tool and I'm going to bring it in a little too because the top's a little misaligned. So go in here. And this is where like you want to just make sure it's not constrained at the top so that you can fully crop the way you want. So I can even bring that in a little. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, if I go in and I save this file, save as a copy, anytime you have multiple layers, it's going to want to save it as a Photoshop file. So if I save it as a copy, I can save it as a JPEG. And then hit OK. 